previously owned Benton Army Force. There is a spy among us. Who's the spy, Ben? I, I can't tell you who the spy is. Well, then I'm done with you. I don't trust you. You're a liar. I'm done with you. If you're going to take down this army, I'm giving you the Defender and the Gold program. the spy is. You know that look. I know Ben. But maybe we should make an exception? No. I'll tell him everything that happened to us later, but not now. Not during this war. This is warfare. So, what are we going to do? We're going to put all the sectors in lockdown. None of the people in the sectors can get out. But Ben, if we know who the spy is, why don't we just put their sector in lockdown? Because we don't know that by us being here, it changed the time period, and now it's a different spy. The paradox warned us about this type of thing. <laughs> Did you miss me? Look, I don't want any trouble, please. Can we bargain? No. Well, now I'm too late. <laughs> Ultimate Defender Humongosaur. I'm done playing games with you. Now, if you want to fight so bad, fight me. Oh, taste. Fury and ten. Taste the fury of our leader, Vilgats. Look, go, go on the others, and put all the sectors on lockdown, so nobody can get in or out. <sighs> you will pay. Whatever it takes. You idiot. If you freeze us in this room, you'll be frozen too. I know. <sighs> I'm about to freeze over. <sighs> we are in lockdown. Whatever you do, do not leave the sector or you will be executed on sight. There is a spy among us. We don't know who it is. So, if anybody in our team, they will be suspected as a spy. Do not leave. Nice going, Ben. You set up everybody, so now they can't leave. It's for your own good. Asmuth? What are you doing here? I'm here to warn you. Ben knows what he's doing. Well, then, why won't he tell us anything? It's because he will destroy the time ripple, as of right now. He will tell you all that he can after the war is over, and the time ripple is in a safer place. 
How can I believe you? You're from his town. Which means I know what I'm talking about. So if you don't listen to me, if you don't listen to Ben, then listen to Rook. He knows too. And if you don't listen to any of them, well, you're out of luck, kid. Looks like I need to go have a word with Ben. Gold bin. Okay. Blots. Blots. New fool. It doesn't work if you don't have the alien. Um. Uh, right. Uh. Jetway. Wait, no. Defender Jetway. Defender Jetway! Uh, Asmuth, what exactly does Defender Chetray and Chetray, or why are they so different? Uh, power and form, because this one's like tangible. Anything else? I don't know, kid. I invented the Omnitrits. I didn't invent the aliens. Huh, uh, he's got a point. Guess who's here? Look, are you okay? What is this block of ice? Ben. And the spy. What? You mean? Yes. He's versed his wife. Life. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. He's versed his wife. Ah, oh, dang it! He's versed his life more than once. Like, with that time of Agrivor, traveling to dimensions, traveling here, he could have been lost in time or lost in space. And now, here again with the spy. Look, I'm sorry. I know that this is what you wanted, wasn't it? You hated Ben. I didn't hate him. I just couldn't trust him. I mean, he, he I could trust him, but he, I just want to know what's going on. It's not my place to tell you, kid. It's Ben's. Well, he, he can unfaith this, right? I can unfaith this, yes, but... It will, it will take so much time. And then, well, this could be a possible chance that Ben's already froze down in time. Well then, looks like I gotta do something. Swamp fire! No. No, swamp fire! Wait, not Defender Swamp Fire, I've got something even better. Ultimate Swamp Fire. Okay, with Ultimate Swamp Fire and a little extra power for, from Goldbin, I think I might be able to unfreeze this. Good. And I've already, I've already set off the boundaries and called in some reinforcements. Alan, at your service. Ten-year-old Benton, at your service. Eleven-year-old Benton, at your service. Uh, not that I'm complaining, but, um, why are you a way big when you're trying to melt the ice? Well, I figured if we couldn't melt it, then I could throw it up in the air and break it. Uh, you're just like you... so much. Okay, but we do try to melt it first. Uh, there's three of us. I'm down here. Oh, yeah, right. You three try to melt it. One, two, three, go. Okay, that didn't work a bit. Huh. Time to break. We got some bad news. I can't lift this thing. Why? Because it's like a solid 10,000 pounds. So there's no way out? There is one way, Ben Tennyson. Asmuth, do you really want to save your leader, Ben Tennyson? More than anything, I know I said I couldn't trust him. But then I thought about something, and if I can't trust him, then I can't trust anybody. Right? The man who's trying to save us? Good, you are ready for this program. It's called... 
the double edit program here try it it increases the alien by three times the feet and it increases the power too I'm ready I'm ready that's ultimate cannonball double edits armadillo double edits ultimate humongous double edits and water house are double edits there's nothing else? No. First, let me try with warm water to try and melt it. <sighs> then I'll try to smash it. Ultimate cannonball won't do anything any good. Double, ultimate cannonball double heads, that is. So, if I can't drill through this, then Ben is lost forever. <laughs> I will save my leader. Stop, you're gonna cause an earthquake. I will do anything to save my leader. It worked. You got to the ice, but Ben is already in his human form. He could have been freezed. Yes, he still has a pulse. But a very dim one. He's been frozen for more than three hours. I'm ready to fight. What? But Ben, you... Yes, he's right. The evil fight now. And end it. We have to. I'm not coming back, Ben. Let's end this. Right. Now. And that's all for the episode. Sorry, guys. Um... Bye.